After they went to Noah and refused all their offers of having this world's pleasures, his people were shocked. How does Noah refuse all this money, O Waliha? Noah obviously will refuse all of these offers. And why is that? Because he is crazy. Crazy! وَيَا قَوْمِ لَا أَسْأَلُكُمْ عَلَيْهِ مَالًا إِنْ أَجْرِيَ إِلَّا عَلَى اللَّهِ وَمَا أَنَا بِطَارِدِ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا إِنَّهُمْ مُلَاقُوا رَبِّهِمْ وَلَكِنِّي أَرَاكُمْ قَوْمًا تَجْهَلُونَ What are you saying, Abu Mahdi? How is that? Noah is telling the truth, O oh Mahdi. Noah is definitely in the right. In the right? Yes. How does a man not have anything, refuse that much wealth, unless... And here we see that despite Noah being poor and weak, but his people are also afraid of his call spreading. So they offer him wealth and power. And despite all the harm that came to him at the hands of his people, he was still worshipping his God and asking him to guide his people and to leave idolatry. And despite everything, Noah kept building his ship, not caring about what his people does to sway his followers. Noah kept believing in Allah, called his people to believe in Allah. Without boredom, laziness, or desperation, he endured all of this to complete his message. Peace be upon him. And despite everything, Noah kept building his ship, not caring about what his people does to sway his followers. Noah kept believing in Allah, called his people to believe in Allah. Without boredom, laziness, or desperation, he endured all of this to complete his message. Peace be upon him. Making a ship in the desert? You crazy fool? Do you honestly think that it would sail in the desert? <laughs> oh man, get back to your senses. You have become the laughing stock of everyone here. What a crazy man you are, Noah. <laughs> you are crazy. لقد أرسلنا نوحا إلى قومه فقال يا قوم اعبدوا الله ما لكم من إله غيره إني أخاف عليكم عذاب يوم عظيم قال الملأ من قومه إنا لنراك في ضلال مبين قال يا قوم ليس بي ضلالة ولكني رسول من رب العالمين but Noah didn't care about this, but he kept building his ship on top of the sands until Allah makes his order and to reward the patient believers. This is the ship that Noah is making, Mahdi. Why is he making it, father? This is what confuses me, my son. I'm sure there is a reason. It's just that all the people don't know about it. What I'm sure about is that he is doing it because Allah ordered him to do it. How is that, father? Tell me more. Noah is calling us to worship one God without anyone else. Then what, father? And to leave the worshipping of idols that don't do any harm or good. And he treats the prince and the commoner as equals. Yes, my son. Then why don't we follow such a righteous religion, my father? I'm wholeheartedly am leaning to following this religion with Noah, the messenger. Noah called his people in secret, just as he called them in public. He also ordered them to repent and also telling them what happens to those who repent. He also promised them with bountiful livelihoods, as well as a lot of money and children if they follow him. But this only made them more arrogant and more underestimating of his call. Noah was certain that no matter how much time passes, Allah will make him triumph in the end. <laughs> And 
ذرارا ويمددكم بأموال وبنين ويجعل لكم جنات ويجعل لكم أنهارا Noah and his devoted sons were building the ship, awaiting the promise their God has made to them, while his people kept making fun of him until Noah began praying on them. Thanks to God, the ship is almost complete. A couple more days and we are done. I wonder what would happen after Noah completes building the ship. This is something we don't know except Allah. And we will follow the commands of Allah. Noah has suffered a lot under the hands of these infidels for centuries. Yes, and has endured it. And the time has come. As the ship was complete, Allah ordered Noah, peace be upon him, to get ready to leave the village of these cruel people. Allah ordered Noah to take a pair of everything as life will begin anew with the believers. <laughs> أمرنا وفارت النور قل نحمل فيها قل نحمل فيها من كل زوجين اثنين وأهلك إلا من سبق عليه القول ومن آمن وما آمن معه إلا قليل وقال اركبوا فيها بسم الله مجريا ومرسا إن ربي لغفور رحيم. So our master Noah began getting aboard along with everyone who believed in him, from his people and family. And then the torment that he warned his people about has arrived. And soon, the sign that foresaw the awaited torment has arrived as rain began pouring mercilessly and the ground exploded releasing all the water it has underneath and all of the disbelievers have drowned. While Noah was looking for his son, he found him climbing a mountain running away so he doesn't drown. Noah said to his son, My son, get aboard with us. But his son refused. I won't get aboard with you! I will head to a mountain that will protect me from the water. Noah then said, There is nothing that will protect you from Allah's order. But his son still refused. I won't get aboard with you. I will head to a great mountain that will protect me from the water. The waves came between them, and so he drowned. وهي تجري بهم في موج كالجبال ونادى نوح ابنه وكان في معزل يا بني اركم معنا يا بني اركم معنا ولا تكن مع الكافرين قال سآوي إلى جبل يعصمني من الماء قال لا عاصم اليوم من أمر الله إلا من رحم وحال بينهما الموج فكان من المغرقين After the torment has passed, Allah ordered the sky to stop raining and the ground to take its water back, as if nothing happened. And so Noah's Ark stopped on Judy Mountain, and everyone disembarked from its safety. And once Noah's son has drowned, he asked his God and said he is from his house, and that he promised to save his house. So his God told him that whoever not believes in you is not from your house, and this question is not a good deed. So beware becoming one of the ignorant ones. So Noah, regretted his request and begged forgiveness. وَقِيلَ يَا أَرْضُ بِلَعِي مَاءَكِ وَيَا سَمَاءُ أَقْلِعِي وَغِيضَ الْمَاءُ وَقُضِيَ الْأَمْرُ وَاسْتَوَتْ عَلَى الْجُودِيِّ وَقِيلَ بُعْدًا لِلْقَوْمِ الظَّالِمِينَ وَنَادَى نُوحُ الرَّبَّهُ فَقَالَ رَبِّ إِنْ ابني من اهلي وان وعدك الحق 
وإن وعدك الحق وأنت أحكم الحاكمين قال يا نوح إنه ليس من أهلك إنه عمل غير صالح فلا تسألني ما ليس لك به علم إني أعظك أن تكون من الجاهلين قال رب إني أعوذ بك أن أسألك ما ليس لي به علم وإلا تغفر لي وترحمني أكن من الخاسرين قيل يا نوح اهبط بسلام من وبركات عليك وعلى أمم من من معك وأمم سنمتعهم ثم يمسهم منا عذاب أليم 